Hello, in this video I'll show you more panel border details we can add. So last time pretty much created these right here. So this time let's actually detach this right here. So what I can do is just actually just select the polygon here, hold shift and click just to loop this whole group of polygon, then just detach this clone. So what we can do is just actually have a separate object right here. And so now what I can do is apply shell and we can scroll down here and use straight corners. You can see what it does right here. So this is before. Notice it's a little bit wobbly here in the corners, but after, pretty much maintain the straightness right here. So I can go back here and actually increase the outer amount here. But notice that the more you increase this, the more it starts to kind of warp in on itself. You can see that happening right here. However, if you do want it to be this thick, you can actually just apply Edit Poly and then just select this edge and use either Set Flow right here, which as you can see gives us a pretty good result right here, or you can turn on Edge constraints, for example, with set flow gives a better results. Turn on edge constraints and you can see the move it here. Notice how the first time I move it, it moves right here because that's where it stops. And then you can simply move again, stop moving, move again, move it right here. You can also have it be here and just use center right here. And there we go. So we can get this right here. And afterwards, we can have more fun just adding more details here. So another example is to kind of work with the shape right here. So notice how here we have this kind of shape right here. We have this kind of cutaway effect right here. What I actually did here was after I applied open subdiv, and notice how I got this kind of result right here. So I pretty much did was fix that up. So after open subdiv, I used preset, open subdiv, just to give us more detail to work with here. Establish the curvature more. And so afterwards, I got this result right here. I also removed this loop here. And so this is kind of a bad result here because you have this kind of long polygon here. This one's kind of lopsided here. So to quickly fix this, I simply cut right here. And then I remove these edges. And then we have an end gone right here. And I can get rid of that by simply target boarding right here and removing these edges. There we go, now I have a much better topology for further modeling and adding detail here. So now with this, what I can do here is play around with the border right here. So what I can do, for example, is to select these edges here, and for example, use straight, to straighten this out here, and just kind of maybe do some modification here if it doesn't come out right. So notice that we have going on here is that we have this inside object with this kind of shape and this panel border detail with this kind of shape right here, just kind of adding further interesting details for us. So what I can do is use swift loop right here and notice how the loop is kind of lopsided here. It's thinner here and wider here. What I can do is left click, hold down control alt and then left click and move the mouse to straighten this out right here. There we go, and for example here I can add some sort of bevel detail here, or for example inset first, scale, and then bevel here. And I can select this right here, turn on edge constraints, move this here. Alright, for this one I can try to create multiple detachments right here. So first I'll just detach this as clone. with a smaller amount here. And you can apply out a poly on top and then detach this one right here. And perhaps I can give this an even smaller amount right here. So I can go back to this one here and maybe create some kind of basic extrusions here. Here I may want to create some sort of detail inside of here. So notice how we have kind of a gap right here and that's an opportunity for us to design something and put that in there. So for example, right here, then I can select this, 
and then bevel with height outline of zero, hold shift click here to convert to the border edges, deselect this and then straight. And then I can simply weld this. And now we've got this kind of interesting detail right here. And perhaps if I want to, I can move this out a little bit. We get something like this, for example. And here I'm just using the screen mode right here. So it's almost like I'm quickly sculpting, just kind of rotating here and moving this out according to the camera angle. And for example, I can add further detail to this. I can create further detail here, which works together with this. So for example, I create a little gap right here. I'll just make this transparent and what I can do here just added preset just apply add a poly underneath the crease pretty much what I can do is kind of make room for some kind of detail right here so here what I can do is let's say insert a loop here and for this I'll just use the existing loop right here just turn on edge constraints and move this right here all right I'll just isolate this here and what I can do here is insert a loop down here and then select these polygons and simply bevel down. Then I can delete these polygons here. And then I can select these vertices and also this right here. Then I can select these vertices and weld. You may have to increase the threshold if you don't get any kind of welding right here. There we go, go back to Creaset. As you notice, it's a little bit of a mess because if you do modeling after Creaset, everything kind of gets jumbled up here, so I just have to reselect everything right here. There we go. And for example, deselect this here. And then I can right click and update. And now I've got this kind of detail right here that'll look nice with the surrounding detail here. So notice how I kind of have this synergizing detail right here and I can add further little details here turn on face constraints screen and then kind of use the existing topology to add details so for example if I want to create some sort of triangular detail right here to kind of balance with this I can just work these vertices into that detail here And then, of course, I can select this here. All right, as noticed this time, the creasing is intact. So all I have to do here is just turn on ignore back facing and hold control and double click here to add this as well. If you get some sort of bad results, like right here, for example, you can see this happening. You may either need to increase iterations or go in here and fix up the topology a little bit. For example, I can select these edges here and then use center right here just to kind of take away this effect where we have this kind of skewed long polygon here there we go and i can also increase the durations and as you can see it's much better looking right here you can always, of course, keep it, let's say, at 2 or 0 in the viewport and, let's say, a much higher number at render time just to have performance high here, but still get good results when you bake or render. So we can also kind of work together with the panel detail and the panel border details right here. So, for example, here what I can do is maybe just insert a loop here or use this existing loop here.
So just moving some basic edges can give you already an interesting result right here. But then you can also add crease to that. So for example, I can just add another crease set right here and have a different value here. And now I've got this kind of creasing happening here. And now I have, as you can see, lots of kind of small details here, kind of starting to add a lot of visual interest to these areas here. Another example here is that I'll just attach this right here, apply shell. Now what I can do is just hold shift, click, 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 there we go, just deselect that and then straight and now you can see how we've got the inside with this kind of shape and the outside kind of maintaining the straightness right here and perhaps then I can select these polygons here and then just kind of bevel and then edge constraints right here So here what I can do for example is, let's say select this, detach this as clone, shell, apply the poly on top, and then what I can do is just activate vertex snap, I'm just going to snap that right here, alright, and here I can also, let's say, Hold shift and select this and then shell here as well and then I can select this and detach this clone here and here I can bevel this out here snap this to here edge constraints so you can see how I'm combining multiple objects right here so now I've got this made up of multiple objects right here and I can assign different materials to this for more interesting effects. And here's a rendering of this object right here. We can see multiple pieces working together here making up the panel border right here. Getting back to this object right here I could use this for example as a latch to have belts going around here securing this could be a piece of armor for example and you can have this for belts to go through to secure the armor to the character. So in order to get a belt I'll just show real quick here we can have 
let's see these polygons selected and then just detach as clone Thank you for watching and take care.